everybody. Happy Friday. It is Halloween Eve, actually. Um, and we're joined by, oh, I don't know if you can see my glass. Cheers to everyone watching. Um, I'm joined by a very special and ultra talented artist today um, to kind of get us into full swing and get us ready for the Halloween weekend, whatever that may entail for you. Um, I think this is going to be the first year we're all wearing masks for Halloween. So <laughs> um, without further ado, this is Matt Cost. Everybody, how are you doing? Hello. How's it going? Good. And yourself? I'm doing real nice. And you're uh, you're in California right now on the other end of the state, uh, SoCal. So yeah. you go to the beach today or this week? I what? like to go to the beach. Uh, I went, let's see. I went about a week ago, and it was nice. I just dive in, you know. I don't really surf or anything. I grew up skateboarding, so when I go down mm -hmm. there, I just swim around or lay around. The other day, I saw a mora eel that was beached up. What? Can you elaborate on that? It was. It was just washed up. It was. It was deceased, but it was on the. It was on the shore, and it was wild. I'd never seen one of those before. Is that a specific type of eel? Yeah, it's a big one. They've got like scary, scary teeth and they're pretty, pretty intense looking. Absolutely. I think what movie? It's one of the Disney movies where Little Mermaid. They, probably. Yes. Thank you. That's the one. Uh, <laughs> well, OK, so you obviously you're just excelling when it comes to your musical career, but um, that wasn't like the OG plan for you. You actually you're talking about skateboarding and you kind of were headed in that direction at one point, right? Like wanting to be pro? Yeah, when I was young, that's what I, I started skateboarding when I was about, I got my first skateboard when I was like nine and then I, it was an old school board and I pushed around for a little bit. And then when I was like 11, the kids at the school were like skateboarding in the parking lot and the bike racks and stuff. And I said, I wanna do that. So then I would just jump on their boards when they didn't, when they didn't land a trick. And then I just followed that for a long time, you know, got my own boards and then eventually got sponsored and things. And I did want to be pro, but I broke my leg pretty bad. Uh, which one? It was my left leg and it was a tib fib compound fracture. I did that last summer. It's not fun. Yeah. No, it was on one of the electric scooters though. That I... Oh, one of the ones from the city. Oh. Um, it was in San Diego. Oh, Never. It was like my first time ever using one and three minutes into the, the trip, I couldn't figure it out and I was going too fast. And then... Oh my gosh. Yeah. I've thought about that. There needs to be like at least a little bit of like a tutorial or something rather than just jumping on one of those things. And then soon after I read that these companies were wanting to make them faster. And I was like, okay, excuse me. No, no. no, no, no. Um, but mine was on my right leg, so I couldn't drive for a while. How'd you do that? How did I do what? How did you get around? Um, I have amazing friends who helped me out. That's cool. <laughs> That's good. What are you Maybe sipping on nice from the bottle? This is just sparkling water. Oh, you're hydrating. It's not <laughs> just like some butter Chardonnay right from the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Matt. So um, I know that your most recent release, Yellow Coat, um, mm -hmm. I'm sure the people watching love to hear some of that but whatever you want to start with um okay love to hear it all right sweet this one is called sky full of tears yeah. don't you forget what you have at home you've got someone who cares Chasing your dreams down the rabbit hole You could be facing a sky full of tears Do you recall on that Paris street We bought coats in the rain You were the one who lit up his eyes Now that all seems a lifetime away now all your love flies like bats in the sky Over an October night Now all your love turns to question the sky 
flying over all the years. But once your love blew like doves in the blue over a midsummer day. You laughed as you rode in boats down canals, then you rang in the new year in hell. Each other close as you whispered in bed, and time seemed to hang on the fog. With one light on in a hotel room, surrendering all of your love. Don't you forget what you have at home. You've got someone who cares. Chasing your dreams down the rabbit hole, you could be facing a sky full of tears. 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 Got full of tears. Thank you. I have thank a little you. crowd button here that I can push. And it'll start okay, thank you. I have been asking Greg to get me one of those for I don't even know how long now. We're entering November, Greg. Where's my crowd button? Where's the crowd button? <laughs> come on, come on. Can you press it? Do you actually have one? Well, no, I just have my... This it's a weird crowd. <laughs> there we go. Sounds like they are experimenting with something. Over they are, there. yeah. <laughs> in, it's an interplanetary crowd. I didn't mm -hmm. say they were of this planet. So. That's fair. That's true. Um, okay, so first song you started with, Sky Full of Tears. That's the tenth song from uh, your new release, Yellow Cup? Maybe. Yeah, it might be the tenth song. Sounds about right. Okay, there you go. There you have it, people. And um, I, I'm assuming it's on every major platform for the digital version of the download. It is, yeah. It's available on, on the internet, in different places. You can, yeah, you can stream it on Spotify or buy it on wherever on those things. You know. <laughs> I've got some. Uh, for a more got, specific um sort of. You can go on <laughs> iTunes. You can go. You can also watch if you want to watch some of the videos that I did. The uh, I did some videos here in my spare spare room. I just I made them with uh, my close friend Ming Pham, and we um, turned the room into a green screen and did a bunch of stop frame animation. So, ones for Jet Black Lake, ones for um, Slow, which we made a miniature model of a Motel for and based it oh, all around cool. that. And then, which took like about a month to do to build that thing, and it was only like five seconds in the video. But mm -hmm. it's the you know sometimes the catalyst really doesn't really get that much love, but it's it's the the, the thing behind it. And also, then I did one for um, uh, last love song, and they're all just right here, and, and it was pretty fun to do because of COVID. I was uh, had to be creative with the things I was doing. I feel like uh, when you released Yellow Coat, which was like mid September, it was kind of just the perfect, just on brand sort of timing when it came to that release, just because, um, you know, listening through the the 12 tracks on the album, it was like, um, in my opinion, the lyrics and just the message behind um, the, the overall album, but the individual songs also. Um, was having a lot to do with self-discovery and just, um, you know, the, the the highs and the lows and how to overcome or to absorb what's happening. Um, and I think for a lot of people, having summer come to an end um, towards the end of September, middle of September, and then just like this, just in your face, fast approaching fall season, um, it was a weird time for a lot of people. So I think that 
this album just paired perfectly with probably the sentiment that a lot of people felt. Well, thanks. Yeah, I feel the, uh, I mean, it was, that record was a long time coming for me. I mean, I, I mean, I've been doing music for almost, uh, I guess, you know, as a career or professionally or whatever you want to call it for like 17 or 18 years when I put out my first like full length record and started touring that I was, I was young. I was like 20, 20 or 21. And so, um, and, uh, then, uh, so this is my sixth record and, and I was always working on trying to make things that were, you know, push myself musically and, uh, whatever stream of conscious things I would try to conjure up when I was writing lyrics, focusing on either conceptual things or whatever it was, you know, I always put a lot of emotion into. But when I went to make this record, um, I, I think that there was, a, there was a lot of emotional growth and discovery and emotional healing, too, that I didn't plan on coinciding with the writing of this record. So I think for that reason, it's really... It might be the most pure record that I've written. And so, like, for you to release something as lengthy as this, 12 uh, different sections, different songs, um, I know, like, it, it probably is a little bit less pressured when it comes to, you know, releasing tidbits at a time and not putting out just something massive for people to absorb all at once and so do you feel like the the process and the creative process that coincides with getting that full you know prim and proper album put out there versus putting out individual songs or releases you know in various stages throughout the year um is there anything different that you do to kind of prepare and to project your emotions that way um well, I think that as far as, um, well, I don't know I did, if that, did, that made sense. <laughs> it, 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 it does. Yeah. I definitely, the, the songs came out staggered, you know, as, as the year went on, they were staggered. So it was almost like a reveal of what the, what the subject of the record was about and the, the feelings behind it as they unfolded, then the whole thing tells, tells tells the whole story and so it felt good to have the whole record out um there's a lot of closure with the release of it as well i think that it's a wild thing to not um to not go tour a record because i mm -hmm. a lot of these songs i just even in the studio whether there be myself and a drummer or myself solo working up the songs i work them up in pieces you know like overdubbing parts so eventually the full sound comes together like a band, but mm -hmm. um, it's not really like a live recording in a sense. So the first times that I ever really hear a lot of the songs after writing and arranging and recording them live and in the full setting, like living in them in a room in a space with a sound system uh, is when I play live shows. So, and that can be really cathartic. Um, but I don't get that this time and get to share with people, you know, get to share the looks on their faces when they connect with a song or something. But the closest thing is, is one of these. And then uh, the wild thing about this is that you hear people's comments where it's almost like stepping inside their minds because sometimes mm -hmm. they're triggered of memory to a song in a place and in a live show when well, they'd have to scream over you singing or scream over the person mm -hmm. next to them. And it's really, I think it's special in that way. So I appreciate doing these live mm -hmm. shows like that. Yeah, exactly. Like as much as I miss random strangers elbowing me and getting my sweat on other people and vice versa and, you know, just having to go to the bathroom so bad, but you're not going to go because the line's too long and you're in the middle of this amazing crowd. Um, you know, those are or things you go that... to the bathroom and they play your favorite song. <laughs> Every time. And you're just Every like, time. oh my God, they're playing it right now and I'm in the bathroom. You're like, no, they'll wait till the very end. Like, it's kind of random right now, random time. So let's do it. And then, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um... I always wait till <laughs> I see a couple people go to the bathroom and then I know the song they want to play. And I'm like, there you go. There you like, go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Well, okay, so for everyone watching and tuned in, thank you again. Um, happy Frankenstein Friday to everybody out there. Halloween Eve. 
Um, and for those of you watching, if you want to leave in the comments below, you can do it via emoji or just you can say whatever and just give us some feedback on how you're liking the music and we'll, we'll dive right into some more. And also, I think we're going to be linking, um, Matt, do you have Venmo or PayPal for um, the uh, uh, this possible is gonna contributions? Be a, this is going to be a, a PayPal link that cool. I sent up there. Because we're getting a, an amazing free virtual concert experience right now. And I know how much everyone's craving music just so, so much. And um, we really appreciate you taking the time to just sing to us and provide us with a... The musical medicine, I oh, guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. If anyone does donate, that's really that's really sweet, you know. I, I, uh, I think that with with this record and with these songs or whatever, I really do hope that um, that they find as much peace as I do in them. So, and if they want to make a donation, you know, I don't know. If they don't do donate to me, then donate to another good cause or something. Try to make a little change in the world. Or merch. Do you have or some merch? Cool yeah, merch? I have records and merch Sweet. and stuff like that. Heck yeah. And here's one called Make That Change. This is for people who do things that make changes in your lives. There's nothing like staring at a ceiling. There's nothing like thinking what could have been There's nothing like worry To take your mind off everything There's nothing like feeling so helpless It's looking like a cigarette sunrise there's nothing like yesterday To take you away from your tomorrow You gotta make that change I know that it's gonna get rough You gotta go with the flow sometimes It doesn't mean that you give up Because the start is the finish line even if you take two steps back You gotta make that change To see a brighter day There's nothing like lying to yourself There's nothing like hiding from yourself There's nothing like vices and Freedom lies in color blindness You gotta make that change I know that it's gonna get rough you gotta go with the flow sometimes It doesn't mean that you give up Because the start is the finish line Go ahead and take two steps back You gotta make that change To see a brighter day Soon Gotta make that change I know that it's gonna get rough Go with the flow sometimes It doesn't mean that you give up Because the start is the finish line Even if you take two steps back You gotta make that change To see a brighter day
know that I'm dreaming, don't you wake me? I know that I'm dreaming, if you do, won't you please just do it slow? Cause I don't want this to go. I know I could cause a lot of trouble But I'm just trying to hold on to this thing When I know it should let go Should let go, should let go Let it slip away Yeah, if we do the day would understand But if you're a dream And I am the night Then we'll walk hand in hand And if you wake me Won't you please just do it slow Cause I don't want this to go Someone set a fire in your room here It's mucked up but I'm drawn into the flame When I see it burning slow Burning slow, burning slow Night that we find ourselves together The night that you fall into my arms When I know we should let go Should let go, should let go mm -hmm. Let it slip away Yeah, if we do the day would understand But if you're a dream And I am the night Then let us just both be damned And if you wake me Won't you please just do it slow Now if you wake me won't you please just do it slow If you wake me Won't you please just do it slow Cause I don't want this to go No, I don't want this to go Ooh. Thank you Alright Yeah See, this is why I would love to have the cheers button I and know. the clap button and I all that like good some, stuff. I wonder if I have some, uh, I have some records over here that are like sound effects records. Ooh. I don't know if I have, I have like a crowd <laughs> of people in a park. Let's see if I have, let's see, I have okay. harp music. I know this is, oh wait, okay, let's see. This is, we're getting warmer. <laughs> that is the sound of uh, birds in Pennsylvania. Hold on now. What? No, that's that's well, so specific. I know, it is. It's a, <laughs> it really is. The, they're very specific sounds that I hear. I don't know. I'm going to just, I can't, I can't. It's like hard to dig through this too long. Let's put on the, let's see what we got. Let's put on these, uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is dawn. The sound of birds at dawn. In Pennsylvania or no? In New Hope, Pennsylvania, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. You can see <laughs> New Hope. What? Pennsylvania. There you go. Now, did you, <laughs> was that something you sought after or did you just happen to purchase a specific Pennsylvanian bird themed track? I don't know. I like, I like these environment ones. So I'll turn that off. That's my cave sound. Uh, so now I'll have a crowd of birds behind us and I can just turn it up whenever, whenever we're done. Wow. It's kind of anticlimactic. It just sounds like now I'm playing in the forest. 
which is kind of nice too. Have you ever seen the, since it's almost Halloween, it reminds me of uh, that movie, The Birds. It's like a vintage movie. Oh yeah, Hitchcock. Yes. Yeah, it's, that's uh, cool. It's scary. It is a scary one. Who'd have thought, like, you'd show that to a kid and they'll be scared of birds their whole life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, this is a spooky soundtrack of <laughs> birds in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness. Um... Okay, I have a Halloween joke. I don't know if I got you like fully versed on what I'm gonna do, but basically every time I tell a joke, um, you have to take a sip. Okay. Cool. Um, so, uh, okay, well, I guess I should give you the backstory. So last year, my friend, it was her and her boyfriend, and they were like trying to come up with a couple's costume, collaborate, you know, and and be all matchy matchy and. Uh, they decided very specific outfit. So this goes very well with uh, this bird and specific theme we've got going on. Um, but they dressed as Peruvian owls, actually. This was oh. last Halloween. Um, they were Inca hoots. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Very good. <laughs> the birds like it. Yes. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, The birds are fans. Cheers to everyone out there watching. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. We've got more that has yet to come. All right. So, Matt, um, we've heard a couple of your latest tracks on your newest release, Yellow Coat. Yeah. Um, but going way, way back to your first several, first ever single um, that you released, it was, was it Cold December? Oh, yeah. I think that might have been it. it was like years ago. 15 years ago? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Sounds about right. Can't believe in like two days we can say December's next month. I know. This year, <laughs> been a wild year. It's crazy. To say the least. But yeah, it actually, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm just getting older and time's obviously, you know, going by faster in that sense or whether this year just, it's probably a combination. I Yeah, I was just saying that the other day because time definitely flies by as the years, you know. The calendars get ripped off the wall and a new one gets put on there. But I mean, this year in a way feels like it's just dragged on. But then when I think back to what doesn't feel like that long ago, but was actually, you know, six months ago, April, towards yeah. the beginning of everything. Um, it's just crazy to think that six months have kind of just passed by. It is. It is wild. But uh, hopefully everyone's gotten to take up a hobby. Maybe it was sourdough bread. Maybe oh, yeah. it was, remember when that happened? Good start, get some good starter for that mm -hmm. sourdough. Did you ever partake in that uh, little fad, the, no, <laughs> the pandemic I never, fad? <laughs> I never did. I never made banana bread. or anything. I've had, I ate banana bread. I think that was a pandemic fad too, some banana bread. The, um, what else? What did I, I don't know what I... There were like a few things. I see. I just it, I made mini. I made a miniature motel. That was my thing. Yeah. And made some other miniature trees. There you and, go. Uh, what else? I don't know. I, I don't know what else I did. All right. There's, well, there's a, there's a bunch of other stuff, but I feel like I'm just gonna. I cleaned all my guitars very thoroughly, more so than I ever have in my entire life. Mm-hmm. I started sanding them down and really getting, really getting into them. I felt. It was satisfying, but also, I mean, it's nice to just like occupy your time with the little mindless tasks sometimes. Yeah, no, I love that. It's so, it's really rewarding to clean your house. Mm -hmm. You just bleach the bathroom, you clean the kitchen, you clean everything. It's like, you don't, you feel like you've accomplished so much. Mm -hmm. And then you have like the fresh sheets and then you walk in your room, you're like, whoa, I forgot what my floor looks like. And then you I light know. a candle and you just like feel that you could do anything. I feel that I've been really into wa I've been really into washing my car. I take it to the car wash a couple of times a week. <laughs> I just drive there mm -hmm. and I just like do the whole vacuum inside, clean the tires, do all that. I never I always let my cars go to go to shit before. And mm -hmm. now I had like a VW van that was rusted out and it was it was it's an incredible van, you know, and, and all the like dirt and rust really suited it well because it looked like it had been really lived in quite literally i got pulled over a couple times because i thought i was living in it and uh <laughs> and so uh but now i'm like really turning a new leaf with this 2020 and taking my car to the car wash every two days except the other day i have to confess is that i went if 
I went uh-huh. in, and maybe this is just like an amateur move, but I like went in and I like started putting my code in before the person was out in front of me, and then it, their whole thing just stopped, and they ha- they couldn't get their whole um, car wash. And so then I pulled in. <laughs> she turned around and yelled at me. She's like, she's like, hey, you're not supposed to. You're not she's supposed like, to I'm not code. leaving. I'm not pulling forward. I know. Until well, you we're buy me time 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 for... <laughs> so she was yelling, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've really just pissed this person off. And I was like, oh, it's what? I felt. Scary. It was kind of scary. I was there really someone bad. behind you too? Because then you're stuck. Yeah, there was someone behind me. So Whoa. then she like kind of got out of the car and yelled at me. And then she got back in. And then she eventually like she's like, I can't, I I can't get my car washed now. And I was like, she's like, I was supposed to have three more rounds. And then she came out. Oh and God. then I had to go through because I think it messed up everyone's. You know, like mine didn't register or whatever. Oh so God. then I went inside. And then I walked inside to apologize to her because we had to wait in line to get our you know oh. new codes. So I basically was like, you know, that doesn't always go so well. Sometimes and like your people... cars are just like stationary in the yeah, track. <laughs> yeah, they're in there. And so then I go to her. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm so- I'm sorry. It's- I think I messed it up for everyone. It was not my intention. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh my and God. she's, you know, she's like, it- she was nice about it, you know, which I feel like everyone, you know, people should take apologies graciously when, because mm-hmm. I really meant it. And so, you know, uh, it all worked out. We both got mm-hmm. our cars cleaned. The the car wash and uh, they were really nice to like refund it you know? so that was cool and then you you put on an impromptu car wash concert to make up for it right well i do blast <laughs> uh gloria gainer really high when i'm in my car wash when all the like when all the <laughs> the colored foam is around mm-hmm. the car so yeah. well that was a very visual story so thank you <laughs> mm-hmm. all right so to everyone who's still tuned in sorry we got off track a little bit there with the uh, car wash story but i i think everyone should enjoy a good car wash even if you just need to to drive just to drive and yeah. even if you know you don't really need your car wash sometimes it's just another little mindless thing to do yeah it's a nice road trip nice. um okay so earlier we were talking about banana bread for just a, a quick second, which made me think of Curious George, which oh, made yeah. me think of the the feature that you, well, you collabed with Jack Johnson for, was it Lullaby? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had written that song, and then he wanted to use it in the in the film and on the soundtrack, so so I said, mm-hmm. I said let's do it. He was, uh, he was like, oh, we'll record it in, in Hawaii at my place, so fly out here, and I said, I'm in, let's go. That's sit on so the beach cool. for a week and and i recorded that song with him so it's pretty nice it's awesome can we hear it uh I, well all right i'll try i'll try my <laughs> best to do it I did, some of these ones i don't practice so uh you're gonna get a hmm. all right well might muck it up a little bit we'll, we'll see if this is When you're so lonely, lying in bed Night's closed your eyes, but you can't rest your head Everyone's sleeping all through the house You wish you could dream, but forgot to somehow Sing this lullaby to yourself Sing this lullaby to yourself When I arrive, dear, it won't be that long Oh, it won't seem like any time that I've been gone It ain't the first time, won't be the last Won't you remember these words to help the time pass? So when you're so lonely, lying in bed Night's closed its eyes, but you can't rest your head And everyone's sleeping all through the house You wish you could dream, but forgot to somehow Sing this lullaby to yourself Sing this lullaby Lullaby when I'm not nearby Sing this lullaby to yourself 
Don't you cry, no, don't you cry. Sing this lullaby to yourself. Cause when I arrive, dear, it won't be that long, though it won't seem like any time that I've been gone. It ain't the first time, it won't be the last. Won't you remember these words to help the time pass and sing this lullaby to yourself? Sing this lullaby to yourself. Sing this lullaby. Sing this lullaby. Sing this lullaby to yourself. That was a bit of a it was a bit of a new arrangement that I made for it. It's the 2020 <laughs> COVID version, right? No, that was great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I've always loved Jack Johnson, so it's just cool that you got to collab. And um, like 15 years ago, it was like 2005 and 2006. You were in Europe with oh, him, yeah. and yeah, we did a bunch of stuff throughout the years together. Um, when I put out my first records, it was on Brushfire Records that he had started with. Emmett Malloy, uh, which started off as a way for them to put out their the music for their surf films, and so um, and then it took off, and so then they released a couple other bands, um, and then I was I was one of them, and I got to be close with them because they'd heard my music and wanted to use it in one of their surf films originally, and then um, and then we hit it off and we started traveling around the world together and recording some songs together. And I still work with um, still work with him, him and band guys occasionally. Right now, I do some stuff with Adam Topol. He's the uh, he's his drummer, and so mm -hmm. we just the other yesterday we're sending back and forth some ideas via the internet. Like I I had written this a melody idea with my drum machine here, uh, and uh, then he played some drums too, and we're gonna make a kind of dubby track to it. So. Oh, nice! Yeah. That's awesome. And should people expect that probably in the the new year? I don't know. I mean, who knows when that? Some of that <laughs> stuff we just him and I we just we just get our kicks doing it. You know, it's it's a we did a record a while back, um, a record of his um, called Quando, and so we worked on that, and that's out now. That's Adam's record, and then he played on one of my songs on my record, a song called Savannah, um, which that's the only one he drummed on the record, but. He's got such a great style, and he's really like, he's really, he really has got a great feel. So for that song, um, I asked him to to play on it, and it's interesting because I had written the song uh, very different. It was like a slow song, and it was almost kind of like um, the title track, Yellow Coat. And I said, well, I want to mix this one up a little bit. And I said, can you send me a beat like this? And so he sent me the drums. And then I just reworked the whole song just by like reshaping the chords and the way I strum it and sing it on top of his drums. So. Can we hear it? Yeah, yeah. I'll play it for Thank you. Uh, all right, let's see. It's always weird when I say, can we hear it? Because I'm like the only one that I can see talking to you, but I know there's plenty of us out there. Yeah, okay. Let's see. No, it's not right. Hold on. I have to remember how it goes. Savannah, I loved you like my own though I never, never, never could make you mine. I loved you like my own though I never, never, never could. I was so hard and blue, but I never could break through. Savannah. I loved you like my own though I never, never, never could make you mine. I loved you like my own though I never, never, never could. All right, we're in it now. It took me a second to find it. I didn't rehearse this one. So final, the lights will flicker Savannah, down where the cicadas sing. Though I knew you were the 
goes that sails out off the coast of Anna. I loved you like my own, though I never, never, never could make you mine. I loved you like my own, though I never, never, never could. Your eyes so hard and blue, but I never could break through. Till eastern seaboard storms held you as we fell apart. Savannah, I loved you like my own, though I never, never, never could make you mine. I loved you like my own, though I never, never, never could. I so hard and blue, but I never could break through. Savannah, Savannah, Savannah. Thank you, Matt. All right. Yeah, thank you. So obviously music is uh, one hell of a drug when it comes to being able to elicit these like memories that you thought were just not even in your mind anymore. Just something that maybe it's a, a specific place or an evening or even sometimes like when I hear a song I haven't heard in a very long time, it can almost elicit a memory of a scent or you know, a dinner. And it's crazy how music can take you back to a certain moment. But then when you've grown as a person, if you haven't, you know, in 10 years heard a song and then go back, listen to it, it elicits the memory, but then you've changed and your perspective on that memory or just life has changed. Yeah. Um, so since you've been, you know, songwriting for upwards of almost what, two decades now? Yeah, almost. Um, when you, with your music, um, and your own songwriting, do you ever go back and listen to one of your old songs that you haven't listened to in a while and think, wow, when I was writing that, I was in this weird place in my life and these lyrics meant this to me and now it's changed. Yeah. So it must be weird. Yeah, it is. A, it is a weird thing. I mean, I think that's kind of, that's one of the profound things about music is that you know, the people who were in your life when you wrote it, whether, you know, sometimes they're not in your life anymore, or sometimes you have a different outlook on it, which is, um, which, you know, it's, it's all just a documentation of, of a space and a time. And so, yeah, I have records like that, that I listen to, and they take me back for better or for worse, you know, but I think if it's a good song, then, uh, then it takes you back. The one, the, the the one problem is I find with music triggering things is that there is always the one song that's on your iPod that like always plays whenever you get in the car. Whenever something falls off, it like comes on. That's the only thing that actually ever entirely ruins a song for me because I'm trying to like 
do like maps or something and then the song comes on. I'm trying to play another song, mm-hmm. I lose service, that song comes on. And I just think that's the only time that I've ever had a negative reaction to a song um, mm-hmm. that I really loved. Other than that, uh, I take it all in stride. <laughs> but I think we can all feel that, you know, the one song that comes on the first in our yeah. playlist. If I ever, because um, sometimes I'll, I'll make my alarm clock for the morning be a song rather than one of the, the presets on my iPhone. Mm-hmm. And I always specifically pick a song I already hate so much because otherwise you're going to associate whatever song you pick and then learn to hate it, even if it's an amazing song. So I always make sure to pinpoint my uh, my genre or album or song that I have true hatred for already. Oh, that way man, I anything. should do that because I'll ruin <laughs> right now. I have Nat King Cole Stardust as my yeah. Song. I would change it (laughs) because then it's like every time you hear that song from this point moving forward all you think is like oh okay gotta get get up up. gotta get up (laughs) time to to douse myself in cinnamon leaf extract exactly that's how (laughs) that's what I that's my ammo oh my gosh okay for all of you out there listening we were discussing cinnamon earlier because he was telling me that he uses cinnamon leaf extract as uh were you saying deodorant or cologne or both it's like it's like deodorant yeah like deodorant ish sort of stuff put it everywhere deodorant like cologne sometimes if you're like really hungry i guess you could have it as a snack yeah i season my food with it (laughs) i put it in my tea but if you're out there listening, please tell us because I have yet to to know. We were supposed to be told if cinnamon is, what were we saying? Is it a patch? Is it a farm? Is it a, a root? I, I I feel naive asking this question, but well, Matt, do you, you I, don't I, know, right? I know it's a tree, um, but I don't know how big the tree grows. Okay. And so, um, yeah, and so... The stuff that, that I use is different. It's the extract from the leaf as opposed to what would be what the mm. wood or the bark. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that's all I know. It just I go to like you know the grocery store and it's already packaged and everything. I don't I don't go out and like extract the oils myself from the tree, which would probably mm. be. I mean, I've got. What's your new be, hobby? That'll be my new hobby. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. It's, okay. I wonder, that's what something I do. I wonder. I wonder how much it takes because some of that stuff you can get. Like orange oil is cheaper because it's like just tons of oils coming out of it. But right. certain ones are more expensive. So I don't know. Oh, I, man. I don't know why I stumbled upon it. I think I just found some one day. It's like I found it in like wherever in some someplace on the sidewalk or something. And I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> smells good. And then I got addicted to it. And I'm like, okay, oh, yeah. I got to go buy this are thing. Are you sure? I I, Cinnamon leaf extract? I was in Oregon. I was like, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Matt, um, do you want to do, I think we have time, if you want to pick two songs, I don't know if we have any requests coming in or if you're taking them, but if you want to pick two songs, just do back to back. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Um, Which ones should I do? Let's see here. Um, Let me tune this thing up really quick. I know this is going to take a second, but it's better if it's in tune. All good. Otherwise, it doesn't sound as good. I know you're you're good at guitar and then you play piano too. So quick joke for you. What yeah. kind of piano can you purchase with ten hundred dollar bills? Uh what kind of piano? A grand piano. Uh nice. <laughs> nice. I bought my yeah. first piano for a hundred bucks. I it wasn't a very good one. So you could have bought 10 of them. I could have bought 10 pianos. That's <laughs> the last thing I want to do is move 10 pianos. Oh, boy. Um, uh, all right, hold on. All right. Well, let's see if I can do this. This one, someone requested this one when I put, said I was going to do this one on the show on Instagram, so I, I sent a little blast of what songs you want to hear, so I'll play this one for you. This one's called Vienna. Maybe 
Maybe the birds should take a solo in this one too. We'll, we'll try to make that happen. I'll get him queued up. Diana, can you hear me? Blazing on the afternoon. Cathedral bells are ringing, 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 ringing the sound. Winter can ignore birds. Spring will bring her back her blossoms. Summer bring her back to me now. Bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring it to me. The end of us months to I'm running through the streets of Zurich and calling all the trains in Europe to bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring it to me. Anything I've got to do, anything I've got to do now. Anything I got to do to be back with happy Mondays, sleeping in on Sundays. Well, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring it to me. Well, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring it to me. Vienna, can you hear me? Lazing on the afternoon. Cathedral bells are ringing, 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 ringing sound. Winter can ignore her. Spring will bring her back to blossom. Summer bring her back to me now. Bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring it to me. Well, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring it to me. Anything I got to do. Anything I got to do now. Anything I got to do to be. Back with half a Monday, sleeping in on Sundays. Bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her to me. Well, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her to me. I I liked the bird solo. Very nice. Yeah, that's, that's my specialty. <laughs> and um, uh, really quick. One more? Yeah, so good? I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's tuned in today. Um, happy almost Halloween. Hope uh, you enjoy the last two days of October. And then Sunday we'll be here. It's going to be the end of Daylight Savings. So remember, I guess you don't even have to say, remember to set your clocks back or for, wait, forward. No. Yeah, they do it for us. We fall back in the fall, fall spring back. forward. And yeah, so our iPhones do it for us. So I never know. mind. So just enjoy the extra hour of sleep this, this weekend. And um, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Matt.
Yeah. yeah. Remember to change your remember to change your uh, clock in your car though. That's the one place you gotta change it. True. Otherwise, you'll be driving around an hour an hour off. Um, that's a side note. <laughs> I did that the other day. I was out in Arizona and I was confused because they they only recognize daylight savings I think half the time. So, um, so I was just like all off. I was like, why is you know what's going on? All right. So, anyways, here this one's for a. Uh, this one's for Halloween. This one's a song called Witchcraft. You put a spell on me, girl, some kind of silent breeze, and I know what it means. I'm not a superstitious man. She called me back after being with him You got me feeling strange Pins and pains that I cannot explain I can't explain You must be using witchcraft I met a Monday morning By Monday evening I had found She had a reputation This fiery hair Is gonna put you down She had me saying something Never thought that I'd be seeing again I can't explain You're the dark black cat that crosses my path And you're the mystic train that rolls off the track it must be witch crap for you to do someone like that Must be witchcraft for you to do someone like that. And you got me feeling strange, pins and pains that I cannot explain. You got me seeing something I never thought that I'd be seeing again And I can't explain You must be using witchcraft Woo! Thank nice. you, Matt. Yeah, my pleasure. Appreciate you. Um, appreciate y'all. And also too, yeah, I could. I guess I could promote one thing. I do have a Patreon. If people want to sign up for that, I put special things on there. And and also for the people who put a little bit extra on there, then I'll give like guitar lessons and I teach some of my songs to them because it's hard to find the right tabs to some of the songs and things. So um, I'll give like you know once a month or something. I'll teach someone how to play the specific chords and the way I do it. And then uh, Heck yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of it's kind of fun. keeps it keeps it interesting. I know that like, um, yeah, I, I enjoy it a lot. So and and hopefully it helps people pass the time a little nicer too when they when they learn the song. So absolutely. And this hour flew by. Thank you. Um, we're time we're heading by. into the weekend now. Here it's, we go. It's five o'clock. Cheers. Let's do it. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Boom.